All right, people, welcome back. More DM Dog commentary. So we are joined by Mr. Forever Epic. Hi. <laughs> Sasuke Beat Madara is watching, apparently. He didn't even, so. I, I would mean, say, did he? Like, no, he didn't. Spoiler. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> and I'm not, I don't even watch Naruto like that, and I know he, Sasuke didn't beat Madara. Anyway, we have Armin98. Isn't Armin the name of that one guy from Attack on Attack Titan? Attack on Titan? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's spelled the same way. I don't think it's spelled with two eyes. I think it's just one. I don't know. It's fourteen forty nine and cooler. Just just all the anime references. Oh my god. <laughs> and fourteen seventy eight. I am not a fan of Cole. The Cole family. Not at all. And it looks like we're gonna be seeing some Atlanteans. <laughs> I I'm gonna call the FTK like right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. On, on the, drop that Veiler. Do it. Oh, I want to see him drop that Veiler so bad. Stop him, Armin. Don't let the freaking Titan Freeza race beat you. <laughs> um, what could this be like? A, a treacherous trap hole? I have no I'm, idea. I'm trying to think of a back row that you just set one of and pass. Mm. I'm thinking either Twin Twister or a treacherous trap hole. I have no idea. At this point, we don't even know what he's playing. We're about to find out when there's mega little pitches to pop it with the. Oh wow! <laughs> well, he's actually playing TS. <laughs> TS isn't bad. I, I just don't oh, see TS use okay. that. Wow! Just scooped it up immediately. FTK, get rid of it. And God, TS is expensive. Oh my God! Oh my God! Just is this? It. Has this never been reprinted? Has it never been reprinted? Megalo's been reprinted, I know that. Neptibus is really cheap <laughs> for some reason. Mm. Um, wow, I, I never knew this card was that expensive. Hold on. Let's go check. Yeah, go check. <laughs> Cosmo Blazer, Cosmo... Wow, that's it. Mm. Only Ulti and Ultra. Wow, so it's never got a reprint. It's just been the only set that's been in. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, look. He's opening up the upstart again. Yep. I was wondering if getting him that extra thousand would have led to an OTK. I think they can do like a 10k off the Neptibus. Mm, okay. Because the Megalo attacks twice with the uh, equip spell. Hello? <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> You're not that famous! <laughs> Okay, man, the, the higher rated people, man. Wow. <laughs> you are not that famous. DC, they know you're here too. Two Yuki Tubers. <laughs> Wait, do you actually recognize me? Like, don't just recognize him. Oh, okay. All right, cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say no. Sorkin Sasuke Beats Modern is actually a Yuki Tuber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lead, ew. Oh, my God. Just summon that lead to pick shit out of your hand. He does definitely win more. Yep, just win more. Yep. But, like, now that Trish is a thing, you don't even need the lead. Because you have, like, lead on steroids. Mm-hmm. No. Yep. And they have the same attack. Wow, and you're actually playing that. And you're going to put I... back the Neptibus. He's probably playing, like, a YOLO version. He sure seems like it. Hopefully he doesn't get sacked to like the guy on Daily Duels yesterday. He got... I think this is game. He went first. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Oh, wait, can he drop his whole hand? Is lead once per turn? I don't no. think it is. No, it's not once per turn. Wow! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> you just tribute one wow. other face-up attack with a mermail monster. Wow. And take something out of their hand. So, yep. At least it has to be a mermail monster. I was about to say, if you tributed Dragoons, that'd be crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is playing the Pepe. I think that was probably a treacherous mm -hmm. game. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he got recognized. <laughs> With the whole underrated frickin' video that Stu did that you shouldn't even been recognized. <laughs> There's a video? Yeah, you didn't see Stu's video? It's like his... I haven't really checked the interweb today. Oh, yeah, he did a video, and it's like, it's like top five most underrated Yuki tubing channels that you should subscribe to, and you were number one. Hey! 
Damn, hold on, I need to rub my eyes. Is this guy playing fucking wind-ups for a second here? Like, he's just picking everything out of this man's hand. <laughs> looks like it. How about you just don't play? He, I, Gone. He, he must be playing, like, the hand, no-hand version or something. Gone. <laughs> Damn. What? I'm think, trying to think of what he can even do. Exiton is banned, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just scoop, I guess. Unless that's, like, a monkey board and, uh... The, the guy that pops to the sorcerer. Mm-hmm. Or or that 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 works too, or yeah, yeah sure yeah not? yeah I'm sure you could just draw, to a completely new fucking hand, just new cards. Pot of greed it out. Play your oh yep face off. Okay. Card so good. I can't believe that the fucking special edition card for uh, Bosch is that fucking broken ass awakening card. Yeah, it's like. Freaking crystal abundance, but generic. <laughs> it's just and it's so much easier to pull off. <laughs> oh my god, it's, just, it's just disgusting. It. Like, <laughs> oh man, like who the fuck? In well, you need to roll a die. <laughs> it's like who the fuck in Konami was like, yeah, you know what? We should make you be able to return hey, all the cards, many cards. If they can make public a judgment, they can make anything. That. Oh, there's another one of them cards. I, said, like, I, I wouldn't I don't... say it's as powerful, but it's it's seriously close. I, I, I like I said, I don't think I've been this upset about a broken ass spell card since the Book of Judgment. It's just one of those cards you read. No, 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 Wavering Eyes is pretty bad too. <laughs> well, you see, Wavering Eyes is at its worst when you're playing the mirror match. Like if if you're playing a regular deck, Wavering Eyes isn't as bad. But like this card just destroys everything. It's or that card is even worse in the mirror match too, because it just says on the field, so you can use your opponent's exactly. <laughs> shit too. That'd be fucking gay the as whole fuck. The balanced thing about it is that it's it, it's something that everyone knows exists. You know what I mean? So people are gonna try and like the good news is if you're playing the pendulum deck and you don't know what I'm playing, you're gonna play conservatively until you know. Mm-hmm. Unless it's Monarchs, in which case you could just go ahead and cheat and ask him <laughs> that deck. That was some bullshit. I saw both of your videos, and I'm like, wow, that's gay. <laughs> like, it, it just seems like a really outdated rule, if you ask me. Like, mm-hmm. that that that's what a real errata is. You should change something to clarify or, you know, to make it more up-to-date. So I think they should errata the rules, so you can't ask until after you pick first or second. But hey, it is what it is. And I don't see a lot, whole lot. I mean, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. For a second there, I thought he was synchroing. I was <laughs> like, wait, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody... Can, can he make an Ignister? He can. Oh. Wow, and he's playing Dragon Pulse too? Like, what is this? <laughs> is this the Draco? Pals? It's Draco Pals, but I don't know what his Dragon Pulse is doing there. What is Draco Pulse? Pals? A girl? Is who a girl? The Dragon Pulse. Yeah. I always thought this was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and make your Ignister. Yep. Um, it looks like he might be able to turn his whole entire duel around. He's, he's doing Not if he leaves a dweller there. <laughs> if he forgets about that attack boost. Yeah, that attack boost. <laughs> is it like he tries to run. Tries to run over the Blue and Glacia. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. It's plus 500 for everyone, right? Yep, all water yeah. monsters. I mean, a certain Penguin player would know this. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know you would have lost that shit if that Penguin wasn't there. I was trying to warn you as soon as it started. Fucking, st- oh my god, fucking Penguin. I should have went into Scrap Dragon. Maybe. <laughs> I should just scrap and build. And the sad thing is, you fucking finished me off, and my last two cards I drew were freaking Super Vice and Silent Doom. <laughs> so you needed how many turns would that have been? Two. Or it was one? two. Two. Okay. Yeah, it was like it was like I drew in Super Vice, then I, you you bounced me back, you attacked me, I drew in Super Vice, then you attacked me in the game again for game, and then my next card was Silent Doom. Oh, okay. Yep, well, so. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna come back and slash the shit out of you, but no. 
I should have known you were doing something trolly like that. It's always something like that, though. <laughs> I think the first time it was reptilians, and then the second time it was like the gamble deck, the yeah. coin flips, and the coin flips. <laughs> and then this time it was penguins. It's fucking penguins. I've always hated penguins. Really? Yes, I've always hated Bro, them. I've always hated penguins. Penguin Soldier soldiers. is has secretly always been one of the best. Like, <laughs> Just, before they banned Morphin Jar number two, Penguin Soldier was my go to. Like, <laughs> I mean, after they banned it. What am I saying? Well, before and after. They they both had their uses. It's been a while since those two have been banned. I know. That was a curveball, too. It was just like They're not banned one. in the OCG, I don't think. I don't think so. Then maybe Konami is just sick and like, tired of the fucking Morphin Saki Jar. Thing. I can understand Morphin Jar because it actually lets you draw. Mm -hmm. But Morphin Jar number two, it was mainly used to out problem monsters, I think not it, really do stupid. It, it, was because, it was for that fucking. Uh... Yeah, it was for um Jackpot Seven. Yeah, but like Jackpot here's 7. the thing, just limit the card or semi-limit the card. There you go. Like, why do you have to have these? Like, I can understand Exodia, but a card like Jackpot Seven, it's it's way easier and abusable to do. So why even make it? I don't know. I don't even know why to make it. Well, uh, it's not like it's not like TCG Konami made it. Remember, TCG Konami doesn't really That's make Yu-Gi-Oh cards outside of TCG exclusive. So I guess freaking OCG made it. Well, over there in Japan, they made it. And they're like, hey, look at this card. And TCG was like, I don't like none of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to adjust that. <laughs> hey, man. It, I'm telling you right now, if, if more from John number two was legal. Oh, damn. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Like, is Felgrand still a card, or people still use that? I guess so. I mean, Felgrand is a boss-ass bitch. You don't See, fuck with Felgrand. I mean, you have one negation, and that's all the defense you have. Right I personally would have just left his monsters on the field. It's not terrible. And he can make himself unaffected by shit, too, by negating himself. It's like a double-edged sword. I guess, but I don't know. Mermill's just, you know, they just put those boards on the field out of nowhere. Mm. So wait, wait. Prince, I guess you're going to send for cost? Yeah. Okay, I have to say. Like, you're not going to go into Dragoons? <laughs> I mean, get Dragoons, but... You know, Has he open. used two Dragoons or just one? I think he's only used one. I could be wrong. I think he used both of I think he sent one, and then he sent one, which, well, is, one, which is one of the dumb reasons case, why that card is I'm not sure too. why he would pick Prince. No, he's Maybe he's going to tribute yeah. Prince for Megalo okay. and try and get some shenanigans going to like a rank 7, but I guess that's not happening. Yeah. Okay. See? I said Drop that, that was one, That was one of the few things that I liked about... Uh, uh, Death Pro's list. I'm switching Diva and Dragoons. Because I don't like that you can send Dragoons and get Dragoons. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you, you have to remember, though, Diva supports Necros. Because... <laughs> the one, but, do you understand what I could do with two Divas? Like, bro. I could go into Herald of Arc Lights and I could just summon free tribute, entire tribute from my deck. <sighs> if Diva was that too, man. Say that again. Be scooping it up. Probably. I don't understand why he drew. Wait, yeah. What does this do? Uh, now if I said monster, you control is destroyed by one day. Or you can draw. You can turn over perform a power monsters you control. Including itself? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even know he had a <laughs> luster effect. <laughs> wow. Damn. I haven't seen him in forever. Why is he so expensive? <laughs> He's not. This is probably the secret rare version. <laughs> so discard and Or not. Wow. Did didn't this guy get reprinted though? He's definitely got reprinted. Oh that, that reprint was for um that wasn't for TC. Well, it was for TCG, but it was for Europe. Mm. 
I remember now. It was in some kind of special edition that came super rare. I watch him just rip that fucking monkey board. If he does, I'm leaving the duel. That's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, monkey boy. Let's go right now. Play it. Play it. He's not looking at his extra deck. He's like, he's like, oh, that's what's in there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. <laughs> Can't breathe. Oh. You can the rest of this one by yourself. <laughs> oh, you got to having nightmares. <laughs> no, don't go. Forget that. It needs to be a part of anything. Oh, oh my, my god, god. It's so funny. I swear to god, man. Ah. Uh. I swear to God. You know I preach. You know I preach. I swear to God. <laughs> Even when I do deck profiles and I make decks, I make sure that I try to exploit the number generator because I know it's going to give it to me. <laughs> but now I told you, as soon as I saw that card going down the one, it's like, I watch people get it all the time. <laughs> it's forever. It's going to be so mad because the number generator. <laughs> Look at that. The power. <laughs> I'm ashamed that he knows who I am. Yep. <laughs> It's that serious. Yep, he knows exactly who you are. You know he's seen that video. He knows who you are. It's like, how can you do that? <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Listen, Armin, if you're watching this, <laughs> I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> I'm coming Hide your for... kids. Hide your deck box. Yep, oh, yep. There's that one score Corvette Joker. Just tell me when game three is here. This is game three. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> oh, you forgot that freaking <laughs> cooler one so quickly with that FTK? Yep, and then there's your favorite monster. Right. Right. You're not even here anymore. No, I'm done! I'm ah. done! <laughs> why, why do I need to watch this happen to someone else? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, monkey board. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? I just want to know. Well, I mean, it's a level 6 that you're probably never going to summon. Oh, yeah. And they wanted to it's make Performer Pals so decent. They're like, hey, if you activate him, you get to go ahead and search. So. How about you pay some life points? To do something. How, how, how about you you know, do something in exchange for a free one-card skill, you know? No battle phase, you know, pay life points, something. Some some restriction, you know? Shit, even power you pay. <sighs> Konami See, like, doesn't the like thing, the one-card skill. The thing with power but... turbo is that if it ever got too popular, I could just meta call it with chain burn. Yeah, I got wrecked by burn decks. Like, I, I remember this one tower turbo player he did all his first turn tower stuff. I set one ceasefire. Next turn, he pendulum summons five monsters, and I just flip it for game. Like, it was that easy. <laughs> but, but not this deck. Of course not. I need to pee on this Armin guy. <laughs> well, he's just Armin playing... with the two eyes. He's just playing Jacob House. <laughs> Your build is kind of consistent. I mean, I never, I never pegged the Lanteans to be an inconsistent deck. Oh man! It's like you can taste the salt. <laughs> but Armin's wondering where the hell you went. <laughs> Don't worry, Armin, I'm still here, so you don't even have to mention him. No! No friends for this person! Yeah. <laughs> you play you play your your Draco pals. You play your monkey board. Can only put it down to one. I didn't ban it. Uh... <laughs> I just can't get over this, man. <laughs> that he just Fucking rip that shit in one. Just like against you. <laughs> See, versus me it was worse though. 
Yeah, because he had absolutely works. nothing. You had that in duel, and he's like, nah. <laughs> nah. Man, you do everything right, and you still lose. Yep, because it's getting oh, some It's fair, luck. though. It's balanced. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with here. No. <laughs> no one told you to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you know what? You're right. <laughs> you should have known what you were getting into. You're right. This is a game based on luck. I know. I just fool myself sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I feel like even if I do everything correctly, I'll win. But it never happens. So no. Nah. Even even when I win, it's because of luck. <laughs> he said sometimes you get miracles. Like yesterday's daily duels, that shit was so hilarious. I I, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> So you know that uh, Buster Blader is on Daily Duels, right? No, oh, you came back. <laughs> of course. Of course. So Buster Blader is on Daily Duels. I opened up straight ass, but I was doing the mirror match, right? So, yeah. uh, like, I I just couldn't draw into shit. And at the end of the duel, the guy had, what's the, what was like the Belial Hot Red or whatever? Like the Which level, level is it? The level 9 one. It's the one that negates every turn, right? Yeah, that negates a, fa a face-up card in the field. Yeah. Yeah, he had that, he had Buster Blader. So I summoned my fucking maiden to get a start, he negates that. I'm like, alright, well I know what your set card is, which is his fusion card, so I'm like, Twin Twister, Poppy set card. He's like, that's fine. I'm like, my fusion card, your dragon, your Buster Blader? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> they have like a super poly, well, not like a shit all fusion super poly card, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just Buster Blader and the Dragon on either side of the field. Oh so your Buster so you Blader, your yeah, upset both of his shit, <laughs> and made my fusion monster. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, all three of them are on the field. Holy shit! <laughs> like I, we're not here to watch the duel anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> this man is just going off. He's already. I'm, I'm almost... just here to attend Cooler's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I knew him. Me and Cooler, we go way back. All the way, all the way to 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> back when you're like, oh shit, he might have this. And then, no. <laughs> God damn, look at that feel. Dweller and fucking... Is this turn one? This is turn one. <laughs> and then you just leave again? <laughs> I'm so... My mouse is over the button. <laughs> He could have easily used Felgrand on his Dweller and won, like, right here. What would that have done? It would have... Oh, never mind. It negates the Dweller. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I was say, it's Felgrand, Wait, not Dora. Does Felgrand only stop monsters? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's Felgrand, not Dora. <laughs> Dora, Dora, Dora. Oh, I just thought of the best idea. Okay. You put Monkey Board in a train deck. And then you could have Dora in Boots. I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, that monkey boy would not even help you pen down some of the chains at all. <laughs> oh, it just makes every deck automatically better. Oh, okay. It's just an engine. It's it... just there to scare your opponent, to be honest. Is that, is that what that Draco Pilot is? In a sense, it really is. It's just a cookie cutter, two engines fused together. The Draco Pilot, the Draco Slayer engine, and the, and the Performer Pilot engine. Yep. Not really playing the decks, just two engines fused together to build up resources, and then the what the real threat is the rank fours. Huh, yep. I could have I could have sworn someone did a video talking about that before. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these exceed materials that were so threatening. I'm so glad they're not here anymore. <laughs> Look at this master pendulum. Oh, it's a good thing that's not on the field anymore. Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> That Felgrin is still ready to negate something. It's just, there's not a lot, a lot of things to touch in this deck. Oh, well, look, there's something mm. you can go ahead and touch. Yeah. If I were him, I would force out the Felgrin first and then drop the Mullen Glacier. Yeah, there we go, like that. Oh, yeah, he's pretty much going to pop it right now. So, effect, effect, effect. I believe Megalo is chain link four, uh, three, so you can go yeah. chain Felgrin. So that'd be chain link four. <laughs> Activate chain strike. 
it's really funny to just throw chain strike in a random deck. The random deck is trying to chain shit up and just be like, ha, got you with this. Like, what? <laughs> I didn't know this card. No, why? Why that one? Why? What? That's not a threat. Why? Why would you not bait out the Felgran? There's only one reason why I could think he didn't. He didn't do the Felgran, because I think the Felgran is probably going to negate right now. Unless he's, I say, are you going to negate the Megalo or no? Oh, he's thinking. I yeah. mean, like. The only if... reason, the only thing I think, the reason why he didn't kill the Felgran is it's because he's going to go into a big eye and take the Felgran. But that's only if he can get him to negate it, because there's no way he's going to allow you to, you to go into big eye and take his Felgran. I guess, I don't know, depending on what you want to take as bait. Do you want to summon Mullen Glacier? Nope. Nope. All right. So, stop the Megalo. Man, I'm just, uh, just, just so many questions in my head right now. <laughs> so, like, if I was the player with the Felgrand, I would have waited till Felgrand got threatened. Yeah, yeah. Because right now, it has the most defense on the game, or mm -hmm. on his board, with that 28 wall. Mm-hmm. Instead, you just threw it at Megalo when the, what's the biggest threat? I guess you were assuming that he was going to go ahead and get his equip spell and I mean, equip and attack over you, but at attack liberation, you just you could have just detached, made himself unaf made him unaffected by card effects, including his equip spell, and he would just run into you and died. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I don't know. You should have waited until something threatened Felgrin himself. I just threw it at. I him mean, either way, he's screwed, but. So you conflicted? Are you conflicted because you don't want to see him on keyboard and PP, but then you also want him to do well because he actually knows who you are? Oh, I forgot who we're talking about. This guy, this guy can go like this guy can kill himself. <laughs> wow! But he knows you. He's one of your watchers. I don't care. <laughs> his hatred for my keyboard is more than his love of his viewers and subscribers. Exactly. Yeah, I feel your pain, man. My viewers and subscribers would be like, hey, can I duel you? Like, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, I'm playing fucking... Oh. oh. So what, you let him take the Felgrin? I mean, okay. Okay. I guess you really want to save that for the Mullen Glacier. So you're like, fuck it, he can have the yeah. Felgrin. Yeah, my I mean, viewers... if you didn't use the Felgrin... He was like, hey... He'd still be on his side of the field. <laughs> That's the difference. Yep. I mean, yep. Megalove would have searched an equip spell, maybe, but... Alright, time for Armin to come back because he's playing a pendulum-based deck. Where... Did he use the monkey board already? Yeah, he played monkey board first turn. Okay, good. But it doesn't mean he still can't come back because Konami was like, hey, you know what? I mean, all pendulum he needs is any skill, back any low yeah. scale. And then he, he can just win for no reason. I don't know what Konami was thinking with that. Yeah. Especially for Synchro Summoning. Like, that too. Synchro Summoning, Fusion Summoning, like, if they, if they go back from, because they're destroyed, okay, it's still broken, but I guess, but they get to go back for for just being removed from the field, period? Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm just glad they don't go back for becoming XC materials. Oh, well, there it is. Okay. Oh, wait, no, these are both skill six. So I guess he'll just crack one and draw. Yeah. What are the odds he doesn't draw a low skill, though? It's pretty low. So, yeah, it's one to pretty low. So what are their low skills? Is, is, is it... Um, the vanillas are all low skills. Yeah, the vanillas, so. He just needs one of his Draco face-off vanilla guys. Or, yeah. he tra or he plays Dragon Pulse. I forgot he did that. I guess he's like, I need more low scales. It's a good Dragon low Pulse is pretty good. Like, in, for a gen, like, in, speaking generically. Generic, yeah. It's a generic one scale. Like, I wish they just generically supported this instead of sticking it to archetype, you know? Mm -hmm. That way you could see other decks besides this deck, Pendulum Summon. And then you'd really see how stupid annoying it is. It's always stupid annoying. <laughs> see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have a problem with Pendulums if they actually brought back synchro support and stuff you know what i mean like what do you mean by synchro support like there's a lot of cards on the ban list right now that are obvious synchro infusion support that are just hit you know uh i don't have the ban list in front of me but off the top of my head 
you know, cards like Super Poly. I mean, honestly, what well, what would you rather happen? You get hit with Super Poly or Wavering Eyes? Like, don't don't those both seem awful? It both seem awful, but I'd rather get hit with freaking Super Poly than Wavering Eyes, especially no. with the deck that can play it. It's like, what's gonna play freaking Super Poly? <laughs> Shadal's Heroes, if that. Who's gonna play Wavering Eyes? Everybody. <laughs> you know, what else is there? Uh, the fusion card that tributes a monster, and you special summon a fusion monster with the same level. Metamorphosis. Yeah, metamorphosis. Like, is that is that really so bad that it can't come back and co- and it'll just wreck pendulums? Of course not. Yes. It's just... What? Yes. What? What do you have? Like Cyber Twin Dragon? Well, you're from another planet. Eh, they could just ban that card. <laughs> so that's the excuse to unban one card. We got to ban a yeah, different card because this card gives this card makes so many cards that aren't played right now playable. <laughs> and then just because of one last warrior, that that is a reason why you ban a card because. It, it, it Look at the Dragon Rulers. Dragon Rulers made it so that you couldn't use a ton of cards. So then what do you do? You just ban the Dragon Rulers. <clears throat> a ton of cards can't be used just because of Last Warrior or another planet. Just ban Last Warrior. There you go. That's my theory. There's another level 5 fusion card I can't think of right now, too. You could probably do some shit off. I know you could do some shit off of it again with that, too. Eh. That's Construct is still banned, though. You, hey, you could turn any level 5 into a window. That's not bad. It's okay. <laughs> that's pretty powerful <laughs> like wow all right i'm not i'm not gonna lie like if if you draw the one metamorphosis and you have a level five and you go into the window it can be a but like the, at the same time you could instant fusion into window and then just bring it back with like call the haunted and stuff mm-hmm. like you can already go into window that's a lot of the cards that are worse than other cards in bandwidth i get your point you know like it i'm maybe not at three but at least bring it to one didn't he just get banned? Didn't that card get banned back in the fucking uh, the Thousand Eyes Restrict era? Like, wasn't that another yeah. card with Thousand Eyes Restrict? Thousand Eyes Restrict, that that's a tricky one, because instant fusion. You know, mm-hmm. every deck could play, basically snatch deal permanent. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, it's level one for formula plays. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, that's not worse than Norden, in my opinion. I mean, what OCG has Norden ban and they and have Institution at three, and they still like no thousand eye restraint. Yeah, but they haven't tried. OCG still has Reborn Tengu at two. Like, come on. <laughs> they do. <laughs> sometimes they're crazier than us, and sometimes they're just absolutely not doing what we're doing. Maybe they think that we're the crazy ones at times. Maybe. <laughs> I'd uh-huh. like to visit Japan for like a month just to see. <laughs> I'm still pondering why Allure is still at one. Here? Yeah. yeah just I know general. you want that Ubel support. <laughs> no, no, it's just... There's that bias talking. It's not bias. It's like, who cares? Yeah, I know. I feel you. I like, there's a lot of decks. You that... act like you go plus with it. It's an even out just like any other fucking draw I think the cards. only deck that would really do stuff with it, like, on a big scale, is Cosmo. And even then, it's like... Do they run enough darks to make you warrant running all them alerts? I don't even think they run one alert. Um, Do they? I know they used to. I'm not sure about after the support came out. Mm-hmm. But I know they have the uh, Wicked Witch, and they have the Dark Destroyer, the Sword Troopers. I can't mm-hmm. remember what else was dark. Mm. Okay, and it's not too much. <laughs> Man, look at this. He, this dude has gone, like, plus five. Yep. Oh and already God. half over halfway through his deck on turn three. His second turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what My Konami... mouse is over the button. <laughs> this is what Konami wants. Are you not entertained? They should make an exceed that just takes vanilla materials, but has like a super broken effect. That'd be nice. That'd it would nice. give regular decks an incentive to run vanillas. I want to see how that would turn out. Depends, because then uh, vanilla exceed monster. You got to keep in mind the king of vanilla. <laughs> what gem knight pearl? No. What are you talking about? Let's get rabbit. Oh well, Let's I mean, would poop that out with ease. <laughs> it's limited here. I yeah. mean, honestly, if if you're gonna throw Rescue Rabbit into your Cosmo deck and make it that more inconsistent, at the chance of busting out a broken rank four, 
then I I say that's a good balance. I I don't think Cosmo would do it, but I definitely know fucking Draco Pals would do it. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, this deck's gonna get killed eventually anyway. You think so? so? Oh yeah. I mean, they already hit it pretty hard, and it's still put in that work. Clearly. Eh. They just need to hit the other side of it. Even Performer Pal side is pretty good, but the Draco Pal. Like Draco honestly, I think the Vanillas know. are fun. Mm-hmm. I think the real thing that makes it go over the top is constantly drawing off these Perform Pal cards. Just you're like constantly plus. The <laughs> Otherwise, the only way to plus would be to Pendulum Summon, like you're supposed to. Mm. Yeah, you would think that a deck with the main card of, uh, of Luster getting hit down to one, it wouldn't be strong. But they they're doing just fine with only one Luster. Oh yeah. It's because oh, yeah. Luster's not the one in the Pendulum scale, like he used to be at times. Now there's like absolutely no chance that Luster's gonna be in it. Cause you want to summon the Luster to be the tuner. And if they do put him in the scale, you better believe they have a wavering eyes. Mm-hmm. Can we go ahead and address that card too? I'm, I'm mixed on wavering eyes. Like I think one, I don't want it banned, but one, one, one. <laughs> maybe put it to two first by some miracle. Maybe it's not as bad at two, but definitely not three. That's, <laughs> that's not okay. Can't do that to people. Yu-Gi-Oh is not okay. <laughs> Nothing about this is not okay. I mean, look at this. That that's not okay. <laughs> what? Look at this. Mm-hmm. Top deck Regeki. <laughs> do it. Sad thing oh is... my god, if that happened. Top deck Regeki and then push and then turn this duel around. It doesn't it only has twenty three hundred left. Uh how many Felgrans does you, one person run? run? Do you run another Felgran? Oh my wow. god. What is in that extra deck? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> you got like a blue eyes ultimate dragon in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Okay, here's what you do. You summon a kaiju, then you use Regeki, and then you drop that instant fusion. <laughs> I mean, Eccentric has gone down in price, but still too expensive for my taste. I'd say any piece of cardboard over Honestly, 10... I always thought this card was overrated. Hmm. Maybe it's because I don't play Pendulum exclusive decks, but whenever I want to incorporate Pendulums in a deck, I never see myself jumping to this card. I just generally don't have the scale to pull down to actually make use of her multiple times. Uh, that's why I don't really like her as much. That's true. It's so hard to do level threes. Mm-hmm. And they need to make at least one card that treats itself as a scale zero or something. So you can at least go Pendulum Summon level ones. It's, it's, you're a little bit biased, Mr. I love fucking Synchro decks. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Or at, at least make it so that maybe the effect says the maximum scale in your other zone is like five or four or something. So that way you can't have like a scale zero and like a scale eight. Cooler, can you just go ahead and scoop this up? He believes in the heart of the cards, man. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Thank you. Thank you. We can end this fucking video. That's a long video. Jesus Christ. Jesus. No, your your uh, viewer and subscriber won. You gonna congratulate him? Bye. <laughs> All right. So hope that you guys enjoy. Just nah. So I don't know where Draco Pals sit right now. Are are they the best deck of this, the format despite getting the hit? I'm not sure. I I don't think I've really seen much of a big tournament since the adjusted list. So not sure. It's probably. I'm, I'm sure about one thing. What? What are you sure about? That monkey board needs an AK to the face. Damn, you think monkey board should be banned? <laughs> Listen, I didn't say anything about banned. Just a little murder. That's it. <laughs> just murder. Just a little, just a little bit of homicide. <laughs> See a chalk outline of the square. You know what it is. <laughs> chalk outline of the monkey. <laughs> All right, people. So, thank you, Mister Forever Epic, for joining me. Yeah. yeah and uh, see you guys on Thursday with some more DM commentary. All right, people. Thanks for watching.